We just got back from a really fun, sporadic weekend getaway to Miami. I want to make sporadic for an Well, it was two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Do it again. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to the channel. We just got back from a two day trip to Miami. We stayed at a really nice hotel. It's called the Citizen M. We're really excited to tell you about it. Check-in process was super simple. There was actually an app that they make you download before you check in and then check in at the hotel was literally just two buttons. This is gonna be the shortest room review you've ever seen. It's super tiny. I love the use of the space. Okay, first impression. And everything was electronic. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. You were having a good time with those lights. That's it. That's the entirety of the room review. <laughs> it still gives the room 10 out of 10. It's worth noting that the cost for the room in downtown Brickle, you say Brickle, not Brickell, right? Brickle. Brickle? You're in downtown Brickle, like the heart of downtown mm -hmm. restaurant, nightclub, super close to shopping attractions, beach, all of that. And the cost of the room was what, like 215 bucks a night? When we got there the first night, they made us these really cute drinks and then we took it out to the balcony. Mm -hmm. And the balcony overlooks the city. Next door to it is Sexy Fish. Yes. Which apparently becomes like a club at night. This is for me my favorite part of the hotel, the location. We were able to walk to all the fun bars, so many rooftop bars, all super close. Definitely so, should check out Paperfish for a happy hour. Paperfish was so much fun. Especially on weekends. $7 leeching. We were super close to the beach. I think the drive to the beach was like seven minutes. We were right next to this huge mall. There was a cute little coffee shop that we walked to. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? True Baristas? True Baristas. Two Baristas? The bar is open 24 seven and it has food. We got our late night snacks. Yeah, we came back to the room what, at like two in the morning. Yeah. And they made us a pizza. I'm not angry at that. Yeah, the bar was really nice. The whole area where the breakfast bar and like the actual drink bar. Let's talk about the breakfast because I really enjoyed the breakfast. So like whenever I hear breakfast at a hotel, I think there's going to be like a coffee machine and a muffin. This is a pretty freaking awesome breakfast. Croissants, chocolate croissants, muffins, locks, bagel. But for what you pay, really great food, really high quality service. We enjoyed it very much. Use our referral code, you get free breakfast. I know I've said this a thousand times already, but this place really is in the heart of Brickle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hotel has a rooftop pool and also a rooftop bar and also a rooftop gym. It was really nice. It was overlooking the city. Very work friendly. There's was. lots of workspaces if you needed to do work. It was like a work hybrid hotel, wasn't it? Yeah. It had the entire third floor dedicated to workspace if you wanted to bring your laptop and grab a cup of coffee. People who didn't even stay at the hotel Hotel, just came to hang out. This place is a $215 a night on a weekend. I think is a steal. That for me gives it a nine out of 10. Yeah. I'm glad we agree on that. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Well, this is... Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that very much. If you're still watching right now and you haven't subscribed yet, you need to subscribe. Where should we go next? Where should we go next?